I guarantee it. Hey, welcome back to U.S. Cellular Sports Sunday on Thursday morning. Our NBC family was rocked when we learned that Daryl Hawks had passed away in his hotel room while covering the Bulls in Atlanta. You know, honestly, it still hasn't sunk in, but tonight we're doing what he would have wanted. We're remembering the life of our friend and our colleague. You know, Paula, from the get-go, he was a kindred spirit. I think his first love was football. He was a standout player back in high school and college. But I always ribbed him about the guys he picked in his fantasy league. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> we beat him like a drum. But the best thing, my best memory of him is the first time he met Hall of Famer Dan Hampton. He was like a kid in a candy store. Who are you? <laughs> He's the new guy, Daryl Hawks. The new guy, that's what they call Welcome, me. Welcome, Daryl. Thank you, Paul. I'm going to play a little joke on the new guy here. Ready to. Hey, hey, sports fans, I'm Daryl Hawks, and I want to be your boo boo kitty snuggle bunny. I didn't write that. Now, watching the Globe Chargers is a wonderful life experience, but actually getting to play with them, or I should say against them, is an opportunity I just couldn't pass up. So when I heard about today's trial, you know I had to give it a shot. Three. Five, zero, three. That would have been good 20 years ago. Oh, I felt that one. Uh-oh. And with that pulled hamstring, I realized at this point, I'm better off talking about football. Ah! Meet 72-year-old Pam Neal, also known as the Black Belt Grand. Yeah. Pam hasn't just learned martial arts, well, she also loves to teach it. And she's offered to teach this young dog some of her new tricks. Everybody was yeah. So are we ready to spar? Give me what you got. Yeah. So how would I do? Don't quit your day job. Samurai Mike, thank you very much for joining us for our conversation in market. Well, thank you. Not only did TJ get to come to his first Bears game, he actually got to come right down on the field and see his real-life heroes up close and personal. Things have moved fast for Derrick Rose, and as I found out during our interview, that's just the way he likes it. So we're almost halfway through the season at this point. How would you evaluate yourself? I think I'm... I'm about to uh, be or something like that. Happy New Year's, everyone, and thank you very much for tuning in to the Winter Classic warm-up presented by Honda. Right now, it's 17 degrees, but with the wind chill, it feels more like it's 4 degrees. But they're hockey players, and they say that's just the way they like it. What's your dream scenario for Game 7, we want to know? It would have to be an overtime game seven. Maybe my man Patrick Kane getting the game winning goal again. Oh, you had that big contract. Did uh, your Christmas presents get a little better this year? <laughs> oh, I don't have the money yet, so we got to wait till next year. We'll definitely see him live, and I guarantee you we'll see him kissing the cup right here in person. He's such a fun guy, such a wonderful guy. I think this is going to be an amazing day, and it's just getting started for them. They're there's there's Dan Makita. From NBC5 inviting you to experience the thrill of the grill. Celebrate real men who care about family and community. All of us are connected. He got that and he got it and, and people could feel that. I mean, when, when you're that kind of person, people can feel it. And that's 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 what he was. I mean, he was a good spirit, just a good person. Our thoughts and prayers with Daryl, his family, and his uh, television family in Chicago as well. Chicago's gonna miss him. I mean, really. Covering the Hawks, Daryl Hawks, NBC5 Sports. Family and commitment, that's what he was all about. All about. That smile that you saw from Daryl, that's who he was every day when he showed up here at the office. He would say, Paula girl, get out of that funky mood you're in. Pat me on the back. He never had anything negative to say about anybody. He was my inspiration after having two kids to get back in the gym and start taking care of myself again. Daryl took care of himself. I mean, his body was a temple. He ate amazingly healthy. He worked out regularly. And I will remember him as a family man, loved his kids and married a soulmate. And, you know, I was with my kids this uh, the last couple of days and um, I just held him a little bit tighter. I'm like, this is, this is what Daryl would have done. He didn't get caught up in the minutiae and the crap of life. He focused on the things that mattered most, his wife and his kids, 
and you know didn't let the the, the little ancillary things you know, and, deter and, him from from what it was to be a father and a husband. And in the process of doing that, Paula, and I was at this uh, Italian American Sports Hall of Fame induction thing for Jesse White last night. All the people were talking about. You know what a gracious guy he was. How much fun he was to watch on television so because of that infectious smile. To uh, it was to say we're going to miss him terribly. The emails are pouring in. We thank you so much for paying tribute, and celebrating our friend Daryl. How are you going to remember Daryl Hawks, our friend and our colleague? He touched so many people. Your thoughts on our man Daryl? And if you'd like to help the family he leaves behind, a wife, three kids, rather than send flowers, you can make a donation to the Hawks Children Education Fund, Community Bank of Oak Park, River Forest, care of Sean Owens. We're right back. Kind of exactly a sentiment what you're talking about. From a lot of our viewers. Thank you so much for all the emails that are just pouring in right now. Yeah, this one from Daniel. I'll always remember how excited and passionate he was when covering Chicago sports. He was the MVP of sports casting. Don says, such a sudden loss at a young age, and what a class gentleman. Daryl's infectious smile, enthusiasm, passion for his delivery of sports in Chicago will not be forgotten. God bless you, Daryl, and your wonderful family. From Bev, my heart goes out to his family, friends, and colleagues. His eyes always seemed to sparkle as he would talk about sports. Daryl's enthusiasm for his profession and working with those in the community is inspiring. He will be greatly missed. Daniel says, I'm a high school student at Deerfield, and I am the school's TV news anchor. Daryl was one of my favorite sports casters. I watched NBC every night, and I learned so much from him. I only wish I could have met him. He was truly an inspiration to me. Daniel, you would never have forgotten it had you met Daryl. <laughs> from Alex, his hands on sports pieces, such as trying out for the Chicago Rush and playing with the Harlem Globetrotters, provided his most memorable moments. It was obvious he truly loved his job. I'm sure Daryl would have been the one cheering the loudest after tonight's Bulls dominating win. No question about that. I'm sure he's still cheering right now. He's got great seats too, doesn't he? Ken says, I will miss Daryl's sports coverage on NBC. He was a great sports journalist. He was always optimistic, full of energy. I will honor him by remembering to smile like he did and do my work with enthusiasm like he did to encourage others around me. From Pablo, I'll always remember moving back to Chicago and thinking, who is this hilarious new sports guy? <laughs> <laughs> he made it easy to get settled back into my hometown. I sincerely appreciate his hard work in making Sunday nights so much better. Thanks, Daryl. You are already missed. Daryl, you're missed. You're loved. You lived each day as if it were your last. There was nothing left unsaid. You're an inspiration to those of us to do the same. We love you. Like I said, he was, he was every man and he was our man. Good night, everybody. Take care.